Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA cybersecurity operations, and this is chapter one. This is section 1.2 Fighters in the War Against Cybercrime. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain how to prepare for career in cybersecurity operations, explain the mission of the Security Operations Center, and describe resources available to prepare for career in security, cybersecurity operations. Elements of Security Operations Center Defending against today's threats requires a formalized, structured and disciplined approach which is executed by professionals at Security Operations Center. Security Operations Center provides a broad range of services from monitoring and management to comprehensive threat solution and hosted security that can be customized to meet customer needs. Security Operations Center can be wholly in the house, owned and operated by a business, or elements of the Security Operations Center can be contracted out to security vendors. The major elements of Security Operations Centers are people, processes and technology. We're going to discuss about them in the upcoming slides. So people in security operations center. The SANS Institute classifies the role of people in SOC into four job titles. Tier one, alert analyst. Tier two, incident responder. Tier three, subject matter expert, SMEs or hunters. And security operations center manager. Tier one, alert analyst, these are the professionals that monitor incoming alerts, verify that true incident has occurred, and forward the tickets to Tier 2 if necessary. Tier 2 incident responders, these professionals are responsible for deep investigation of incidents and advise remediation or actions to be taken. Now Tier, tier 3 subject matter experts, these professionals have expert level skills in network, endpoint, threat intelligence, and malware reverse engineering. Security Operations Center Manager. This is a professional that manages all the resources of the SOC and serves as a point of contact for large organization or customers. In this course, Cybersecurity CCNA CyberOps offers the preparation for certification suitable for the position of Tier 1 Alert Analyst, also known as Cybersecurity Analyst. Processes in the Cyber and Security Operations Center The day of Tier 1 Analyst begins with monitoring security alert queues. A ticketing system is frequently used to allow analysts to select alerts from a queue to investigate. Because the software sometimes that generates alerts can trigger false alarms, one job of the tier one analyst may be to verify the alert represents a true security incident. When verification is established, the incident can be forwarded to investigators or other security prof uh, personnel to be acted upon or resolved as a false alarm. If a ticket cannot be resolved, the Tier 1 analyst will forward the ticket to Tier 2 analyst for deeper investigation and remediation. If the Tier 2 analyst cannot resolve the ticket, she or he will forward it to Tier 3 analyst with an in-depth knowledge and threat hunting skills. Technologies on the Security Operations Center Security Operations Center needs a security information and event management system. This system will combine data from multiple technologies. SIEM systems are used for collecting and filtering data, detecting and classifying threats, analyzing and investigating threats, and managing resources to implement preventive measures and address future threats. Security Operations Center technologies include one or more of the following. We have event collections, correlation and analysis, security monitoring, security control, log management, vulnerability assessment, 
vulnerability tracking, and threat intelligence. Enterprise and managed security. For medium and large networks, the organization will benefit from implementing an enterprise level security operations center. The security operations center can be complete in-house solution. However, many large organizations will outsource and at least part of the security operations center operations to security solution provider like Cisco. Cisco has a team of experts who help ensure timely and accurate incident response. Security against availability. Most enterprises network must be up and running at all the time. For example, enterprises like Google, Facebook, they, they want to be up all the time, 100%, 100%. Each business or industry has a limited tolerance for network downtime. That tolerance is usually based upon comparison of the cost of the downtime in relation to the cost of ensuring against downtime. So you have to make sure, like, like you, you kind of like balance it out. How, do how much money do I want to put for me to be up 100%? For example, everything needs to be redundant. It's going to cost a lot of money, a lot of money to, to maintain that. Or can I afford to be down, for example, for a certain amount of minutes or maybe hours? Preferred uptime is often measure, measured in number of downtime, down minutes in a year. For example, a 5 nines uptime means that a network is up 99.999% of the time or down for no more than 5 minutes a year. 4 nines would be a downtime of 53 minutes a year. Certification A variety of cybersecurity certification that are relevant to careers in security operations centers are available for, from several different organizations. First one is what you're studying in this course, Cisco CCNA CyberOps. The CCNA CyberOps certifications provides a valuable first step in acquiring the knowledge and skills needed to work with the security operations center team. It can be a valuable part of a career in exciting and growing field of cybersecurity operations. Second type of, of certification that you can gain is CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Certification. This is a vendor neutral IT professional certification. Information security certification. Information security certification is an international non-profit organization that offers the highly claimed certification information system security professional CISSP certification. They offer a range of other certification for various specia specialities in cybersecurity. Sources of career information. A variety of websites and mobile applications advertise information technology jobs. Most of these sites are sites ag aggregators. The job site aggregator gather lists from the other job boards and company career sites and display them on a single location. The, the best one will be, for example, LinkedIn. Get an experience. Internships. Internships are an excellent method for gaining entry into cybersecurity fields. Sometimes internships turns into an offer of full-time employment. However, even a temporary internship allows you the opportunity to gain experience in the inner working of a cybersecurity organization. Cisco Cybersecurity Scholarships To help close the gap of security skills gap, Cisco has introduced the Global Security Scholarship Program in 2016. Cisco is motivated to increase the pool of talent with a critical cybersecurity proficiency and temporary agencies. If you are having difficulty finding your first job, a temporary agency can be a great place to start. Most temporary agencies will help you polish your resume and make recommendations on additional skills you might need to land your first job. Thank you very much for watching the section 1.2, Fighters in the War Against Cybercrime. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnitsky. Thank you and bye-bye.